Hello friends, my name is Ravi Agrawal. Today I am going to discuss about the OCI Learning Zone, a crucial starting point of cloud journey. So just like a solid foundation is essential for stability and longevity of a building, a secure landing zone is vital for cloud infrastructures. So it includes setting up user accounts, groups, policies, compartments, and building basic infrastructure that allow different cloud resources to interact with each other. Our Lyft EMEA team has delivered over 1000 successful projects. And from the learning and experience, I can tell you challenges getting started in the cloud can be reduced significantly with the proper landing zone setup. And neglecting this can cause problems in terms of scalability, security, performance, and even operational integrity. So our, load, our landing zone has four important pillars, security and compliance, standardized tenancy, identity and access management IAM, and network. So let's see what is the Oracle offering for landing zone. Following are the offerings of Oracle in the landing zone area. One is the enterprise landing zone, which is ready to start landing zone. Second one is, one is OCI CIS landing zone, which is CIS 1.2 compliant Terraform based landing zone. Next one is version 3, which is a configurable option, also known as OCI open landing zone. In this video, we'll cover OCI CIS landing zone version 2 and the GitHub repo of the same is this. Let's deep dive into the same. This is CIS landing zone GitHub repo. If you scroll down, there is options to deploy this repo to the Oracle cloud. But before this, make sure this you log in to your tenancy with the administrator account. So when you click, you don't need to re-login. It will directly land you to the stake page. This is the stake page where we can configure our landing zone from the UI option. So first option is term and condition always check that option so read the term and condition first after this they are uh, name and description those are optional and auto populated options then there is options to select the compartment i am selecting a new compartment the rest is default values now the next screen is asking about the reason here it is a home reason selecting by default i'm not changing it you may deploy it to other reason based on the requirement service level is a prefix that will be added to all of our landing zone resources so we'll add a prefix here there is a cis level currently cis level 2 is latest always go with the latest version the reason is that it gives the additional features like in level 2 we have a oci vault and bucket encryption with the customer managed key logs and bucket securities and other policies added recently in the level 2 also there are options to go with the advanced uh, options but uh, this all depend on the use case driven for this video i'm not going to the advanced option you read about this in case you need a, a more additional configuration you can select the advanced configurations or advanced options in the network networking section it's always good to change the cidr range based on the requirement. Currently, the default is available, which I'm selecting in this video. Also, there's options to have a Exadata Cloud Service configuration, which I'm not doing in this configuration of this video for the simplicity of the video, but you can select based on the use case and requirement. The next one is Hub and Spoke Architecture, which is a star topology architecture where centralized system connect with the various architecture or infrastructure via DRG and other tools. So you can select in case there is a requirement of the same. Next one is the public connectivity of the networking section. So you can block the internet access uh, by selecting this checkbox in case you have a requirement to resource to remain protected. There is options to some whitelisting also of your uh, patient services, load balancer, netting. This all can be done via this section. Next one is the on-premise connectivity option in case you have one premise system OCI support two options right now that is a fast connect based second is a site to site VPN base so in case you need to configure your landing zone to be connected with your own premise network you can select this it will auto configure DRGs and other configuration 
there is a requirement to give the email address here i'm writing my email address and uh, same way security admin also it is asking for the email to be provided default object storage is bucket is enabled which we are not going to change cloud guard very very important a cloud native security posture tool which is free of the cost service by oracle cloud and in case it is already enabled you can check this uncheck this box otherwise we recommend it for all the customers to enable this checkbox the next one is the security zone one more mechanisms to secure your cloud infrastructures where you can do a compartment partition of the resources and the second last option is the service connector hub service connector hub is good to enable this in case you want to aggregate the logs the last option is vulnerability scanning in case you uh, want to have your vm to be scan against vulnerabilities enable this we recommended these two options for all the customers cloud guard and vulnerability scanning and the last is the cost management in case you want get alert when you go over budget you can select this there is the options to give the email address when a threshold reached so i'm adding my email this is the configuration this is the summary of the configuration you have provided now your cloud infrastructure will be ready to deploy your resources once you click on create so let's click on create when you create click on create it will create a job for us currently job is started with accepted state soon it will move to in progress and success now job has moved to in progress state job has completed with the succeed response you can verify the network visualizer option how the new resources are linked so this is the network visualizer this is our compartment if we include the child compartment also it will show the network view where you can see all the resources and the way it is been created you can zoom it uh, to the level you want this is our default citr range these are the summary of the resources different resources created and this is how the OCI landing zone CI is compliant been created from the UI option. So this is how OCI CI is landing zone is created. It is just a starting point. You can explore many more things in cloud. Thank you.